What? Ling Zhen thought he had misheard. He asked her again if she really want him to leave the team. He said if he leave the team, Jiang Tao Tao won't be able to pass the trial. Don't she want to get into the creation seminary anymore? Jiang Tao Tao said in a deep voice that she want to enter, but have he forgotten what her profession is? Jiang Tao Tao's profession is elf knight, and knights have their own beliefs. To be able to come here, everyone has to thank Lin Moyu. But now by Ling Zhen's threatening let Lin Moyu quit the group, she can't do it. Ling Zhen revealed a sneer, telling her that if this is the case, don't regret it. He quit the team. Lin Moyu slowly got up at this time asking Jiang Tao Tao to, let's go into the dungeon. Jiang Tao Tao was stunned for a moment. Ning Yi chuckled Jiang Tao Tao and asked her to, let's go into the dungeon. Jiang Tao Tao asked her that, how do they do that? Duan Gao and Miao Yu were both a little hesitant, not knowing what to do. Lin Moyu had already left. Ning Yi Yi jumped and followed him. Jiang Tao Tao thought that at the worst case they can always retreat. At least it won't be that dangerous with her around. But she was confused. This why does Yi Yi trust Lin Moyu that much? When five of them suddenly approached the dungeon, it immediately caused a reaction from the country wise people. They called Jiang Tao Tao's party intruder, telling them to get lost. They are not allowed near the dungeon. But the people who Lin Moyu saved previously were also there. They recognized Lin Moyu as the brother who can summon. They all comes to fight for Lin Moyu. They won't let Country Y bully him. Ling Zhen was also there. He smiled at Jiang Tao Tao and others saying that they fools, and they are here just to die, Country. Wise Hunter summons his monsters that goes to attack Jiang Tao Tao's party. Jiang Tao Tao walked in front of Lin Moyu and held the shield tightly in his hand. One can see that she is nervous. Lin Moyu pointed his finger forward. He summoned his skeleton warrior. And twenty skeleton warriors suddenly appeared beside him. Skeleton warriors formed a shield and firmly protected the five and blocked all attacks. Jiang Tao Tao was stunned. Everyone was stunned. Even countrywise hunters were stunned. What kind of broken profession is this? How is it possible to have that many summoned creatures? These skeletons are too strong, that their attacks are completely ineffective. It doesn't make sense. They look like they would break any time but they're so strong. Country Wise Hunters comes to attack Lin Moyu as they're going to enter the dungeon. Dungeon was selected according to Lin Mo's words with nightmare difficulty. Lin Moyu looked calm, ignoring the various attacks of the Country Wise people. Five of them disappeared at the quest door, along with the skeleton warriors. Country Wise Hunters were too angry. Five of them appeared inside the dungeon, but Zhang Tao Tao was just looking at Lin Moyu with amaze. Ning Yi Yi told Jiang Tao Tao to relax because Lin Moyu's skeletons are very powerful. Jiang Tao Tao said it's all right then. She hoped their attacks are strong enough, so she will do her best to block the monsters. Jiang Tao Tao, ask Miao Yu to heal her accordingly. Jiang Tao Tao, leave the crowd control to Miao Yu as well. Miao Yu proudly said, "Don't worry, sister." Duan Gao said, "He'll give Jiang Tao Tao his blessings as well." But suddenly a notification come that a level 21 elite Merfolk warrior is killed. One zero 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 experience points was obtained. Miao Yu, Duan Gao were surprised. What's going on? Why are they receiving experience points now? A elite enhanced merfolk warrior was killed in one shot by Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior, Lin Moyu, while going forward told his skeleton warrior to continue looking for the target. Jiang Tao Tao was again stunned that just now, Lin Moyu's skeletons killed enhanced nightmare level monsters in one shot. She knows that even if they had the perfect party, it would still take at least one to two minutes to kill it. Ning Yi Yi followed Lin Moyu she told them. Before that Moyu's skeletons are amazing, she asked everyone, hurry along. Duan Gao asked Ning Yi Yi to wait, because they're still trying to digest the situation. Jiang Tao Tao told Duan Gao that there is no point trying to understand the situation now, just hurry up and follow, when Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior come along. Any monsters they use rage strike to kill them easily. All of this was too shocking for Jiang Tao Tao, as this is the first time she feels so relaxed while clearing a dungeon. Usually she would be at the front watching the moves of enemies and protecting her teammates. But this time, it looks like she don't even need to attract aggro from the monsters. Duan Gao and Miao Yu were also too amazed. It's like they're not needed. There's nothing for them to do. Suddenly they comes to a dead end. There's not a lot of monsters in this dungeon. When Ning Yi goes in front to look, she looked below and saw a monster that's the boss. Below, there was a level 23 merfolk queen serpent. It's the elite target. Queen Serpent's attributes are even higher than the Goblin King, and Lin Moyu's skeleton's attributes are currently at 2700 average attribute. Jiang Tao Tao was little nervous to see a level 23 monster. She said she'll aggro the monster. But Lin Moyu told her that there is no need. 
Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior jumped below to fight that Queen Serpent, but Queen Serpent immediately used her lash skill and crushed Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior. With her body grip, Queen Serpent was too fast it goes up towards Lin Moyu, Zhang Tao Tao, ask Lin Moyu, that Queen Serpent is too agile? What do they do? Lin Moyu told her to don't worry, he used his slow curse skill on Queen Serpent, Queen Serpent slowed down, it's like Queen Serpent is tied up by chains. When the Queen Serpent slow down, Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior climb up on his body. Zhang Tao Tao asked Lin Moyu is that a curse type skill? Lin Moyu said, yeah. Now Zhang Tao Tao started thinking, what else can a necromancer do? As Lin Moyu has powerful summons and even a curse type skill. Queen Serpent used her death strangle and killed a skeleton warrior. When other skeleton warrior try to attack the Queen Serpent, Queen Serpent used poison attack. Lin Moyu was not worried as his skeletons are the undead so venom won't gave much effect on them. A skeleton warrior's caught the queen serpent from moving. Other skeleton warrior jumped from above and pierced his sword in queen serpent's head. Jiang Tao Tao was too surprised that the fight is over just like that. A system notification comes that they killed level 23, Meridlik queen serpent. 50000 experience point. As well as a silver grade armor, serpent skin armor, and intermediate level monster core was also obtained. Ning Yi Yi smiled and said to Miao, You, it's quit stoning. She asked them to let's go. Duan Gao was to shock himself that he haven't even done anything, but he've received so much experience. Zhang Tao Tao was also too shocked to see Lin Moyu's power, but she don't express it. She asked all of them to let's go, they'll follow Lin Moyu. She told them that the Queen Serpent from just now was the pet snake of the Queen of the Mer people. She feared that Boss will be the Queen of the Mer people. When they all were going deep inside the dungeon, there's strong fishy smell all around. And when they finally reached the end of the dungeon, there was a huge white castle. As the boss area, there were many mer people guarding the castle. Jiang Tao Tao get nervous to see 60 patrols in total in front of the castle, which means 180 mer people and they're all enhanced elite monsters. But Lin Moyu smile to see that many monsters there. Naturally, the more monsters there are, the better for him. Lin Moyu summons his skeleton and orders them to attack the mer people. Jiang Tao Tao get surprised to see skeleton warriors going to fight mer people. Jiang Tao Tao knows that Lin Moyu has a very strong skeleton, but even so, isn't rushing out like this too rash. The elite level, 21 Mer soldiers notice the skeleton warrior coming in their territory. As skeleton warrior use berserk strike with their swords, Mer soldiers use stunning sweep with their spears, and the intense fight between them started. Ning Yi got panicked when she see that the other patrols of Mer people are rushing over. Lin Moyu told Ning Yi Yi to cover her ears as he was going to use his corpse explosion skill. Ning Yi cover her ears and suddenly there was a huge blast. One by one multiple system message started coming at the same time that they have killed an elite Mer soldier and get 12000 experience points. It was coming non-stop. Jiang Tao Tao, Miao Yu Duan Gao were too surprised to see it. They don't understand what's happening. System notifications were not stopping as Lin Moyu's corpse explosion skill were going rampage. Jiang Tao Tao and others were too shocked. What talent is this to be so powerful? They don't understand how did Lin Moyu do it. It was their first time experiencing notification spam like that. The palace door opened. For the palace queen of the Mer people, a boss level monster comes out. This monster has a very beautiful upper body of a human and lower body of a mermaid. Ning Yi Yi was too amazed to see the queen of the Mer people. Ning Yi Yi started going forward to see the beautiful queen of the Mer people. Ning Yi Yi's eyes turns fully white. The time happened with Jiang Tao Tao and Duan Gao. Lin Moyu realized that its enchantment skill of Queen of the Mer people. Miao Yu was also struggling to control herself, as she and Lin Moyu were the only ones left. Lin Moyu used his skeleton warrior to stop Ning Yi Yi and others to go near the Queen of the Mer people. Miao Yu used her clear headed skill on everyone. She was little shocking when she find out that Lin Moyu was unaffected by Queen of the Mer people's enchantment. Others come back to their senses. They were having headache. Ning Yi Yi asked Miao Yu what happened to her just now. Miao Yu was also having headache as she resisted the Queen of the Mer People's enchantment. She told Ning Yi Yi that the Queen of the Mer People has enchantment magic, and they all fell for it. It's lucky that Lin Moyu was here to stop them. If not, their entire party might have been wiped out just now. When the Queen of the Mer People see that her enchantment magic didn't work, and all her Mer People and Mer Soldiers have died, she gets too angry at Lin Moyu's party. She released a terrifying aura from her body. She also summons her giant spear and use fearsome shriek, Jiang Tao Tao and others could barely stand in Queen of the Mer People aura. Jiang Tao Tao, thinking that given the type of this Queen of the Mer People, and the way a normal six-man team fights, 
It would take at least an hour to beat it. But now she is already unable to predict Lin Moyu's moves. The power stat of the Queen of the Mer people is too high. Even the skeletons won't really be able to withstand it. The feeling this scene gives her really is a bit like a pack of wolves foolishly trying to attack a lion. It's not easy to tell winner from loser. Queen of the Mer people attacked using her spear. She was aiming for skeleton warrior when her spear hit a skeleton warrior. One skeleton soldier was destroyed. Jiang Tao Tao asked Duan Gao to buff them and prepare for battle at any moment. She thought that once Lin Moyu's skeleton soldiers fall, they'll advance. But Lin Moyu told her that there is no need. He used his slowing curse skill on Queen of the Mer people. When the curse chains ties down Queen of the Mer people, she get more angry and use her water to get free and destroy all the skeleton warrior around her. Lin Moyu's twelve skeleton soldiers have been destroyed by that attack. Their bones fall all over the place. Jiang Tao Tao was looking at the fight. It looks like to her that the skeleton soldiers won't be able to hold on for much longer. It should be their turn soon. Jiang Tao Tao told Lin Moyu to command the skeletons to retreat. But Lin Moyu told his skeleton warrior to charge at Queen of the Mer people. Now Lin Moyu summons all his skeleton warrior to come and play. A dark green NRG covered all the ground around Lin Moyu and the remaining 87 skeleton soldiers comes out to answer Lin Moyu's call. All the skeleton warrior charge at Queen of the Mer people. Jiang Tao Tao and others were stunned and scared, asking if they are dreaming. Skeleton warrior are uncountable. They now realized that Lin Moyu had so many summons all along, but just didn't summon them all at once before. Duan Gao said it's terrifying. No wonder Yi Yi had so much faith in Lin Moyu all along. But it was also surprising for Ning Yi Yi. She was amazed to see that Lin Moyu's become stronger again, and he's done so at a rate far exceeding Ning Yi Yi expectations. All the skeleton warriors surrounded the Queen of the Mer people and started attacking. Queen of the Mer people use her tears. The Queen skill. Miao Yu got worried. She said she is too low leveled. There's no way for her to counter the boss's ability. Lin Moyu asked her to don't worry. Lin Moyu knows that his vigor stat is high enough, so he won't be affected by the boss's vigor affecting ability and his skeleton soldiers are emotionless and fearless dead souls that don't feel pain. When Queen of the Mer people use her blood tears, it didn't work on Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior, and they continued their attacks. The system message comes that Lin Moyu's party have killed the Queen of the Mer people. They got 80000 experience points. They obtained a silver level weapon, the Queen of the Mer people's sword, the Queen of the Mer people's staff, and they obtained the Tear of the Mer people. When Ning Yi get the tear of the Mer people, she jumped in happiness because they're done with the trial mission and they're one step closer to the Academy of Genesis. Jiang Tao Tao was also happy because once they finish a few more trial missions and increase their level, they'll definitely be able to enter the Academy of Genesis. Duan Gao said to them that it's all thanks to Lin Moyu. If he hadn't been here, they would have been simply unable to complete this trial. Miao Yu said, indeed the most disappointing one was that fellow Lin Zhen. She'll never team up with people like him in the future. Ning Yi Yi was even dancing. Suddenly Lin Moyu goes to Ning Yi Yi asking her if she have a cooldown talisman. Ning Yi Yi said she do have it. She asked Lin Moyu if he is planning to do the dungeon again. Jiang Tao Tao and others also realized and get happy that they can use a cooldown talisman. When they all come out of the dungeon, everyone were surprised that they are out so fast. It hasn't even been half an hour. A country-wise hunter make fun off them saying that they couldn't fight anything so they just ran away. Other hunter laughs and said that it looks like those skeletons are nothing but for show only. Other hunters who Lin Moyu saved before try to cheer up Lin Moyu saying that it's okay if he didn't clear the dungeon. What's more important is that he is safe. They ask Lin Moyu to come over to them. Ling Zhen was also there. He make fun of them that they didn't die. But what's the use of entering as a party? If it's going to be like this, Jiang Tao Tao raised her shield and asked everyone to be careful because no one else has entered the dungeon. Miao Yu told Jiang Tao Tao to relax, because they have Mo Yu with them. Jiang Tao Tao called Ning Yi Yi and tell her to carry out what they planned. Ning Yi Yi said no problem, and she pulled out the cooldown talisman. Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi went in again. A hunter said that Ning Yi Yi is definitely has some background. How did she get such a high level item? But other hunters were more surprised because only two of them just enter nightmare level. All the hunter thought if they trying to commit suicide. Jiang Tao Tao looks back and was worried. She said that they can only count on both of them now. Miao Yu told Jiang Tao Tao to don't worry because they've already seen Lin Mo Yu's skills. So both of them will be fine. When Jiang Tao Tao thought about what Lin Mo Yu did in the dungeon, she said that even if it's nightmare level, Lin Mo Yu is capable enough to clear it alone. On the other hand, 
When Lin Moyu and Ning Yi Yi entered the dungeon again, Ning Yi Yi said she didn't think Lin Moyu will be helping her level up so soon. Ning Yi Yi asked Lin Moyu to better not give up her halfway. Lin Moyu said, All right. And they started going inside. Ning Yi Yi told Lin Moyu that the remaining use for the cooldown talisman is just enough for the both of them to clear the dungeon twice. So they'll need to make full use of this opportunity to grab all of the merfolk's tears while they were going. A mer soldiers was about to ambush them from back. Ning Yi told Lin Moyu to let's clear the dungeon as quickly as possible. Suddenly, that mer soldiers try to attack them. Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior cut him into two. Lin Moyu told Ning Yi to don't worry, because he is the fastest. Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior were killing all the monsters with insane speed. Even the system notification cannot keep up. Both Lin Moyu and Ning Yi reach the hill where they fight the Merfolk Queen Serpent before. That serpent attacked Lin Moyu at Sai, but Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior killed it no time. Lin Moyu was satisfied because previous time, it took half an hour to reach this stage, but now it took only five minutes. Ning Yi Yi, while blushing, said that Lin Moyu a lot more amazing than she thought. Lin Moyu asked Ning Yi Yi to let's head to the Merfolk Queen's Palace now. When they got to Queen's Palace, all the Mer soldiers charge at them. But Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors comes forward, and while using their skills, they killed all the Mer soldiers. When the last Mer soldiers got killed, Lin Moyu told Ning Yi Yi to get ready, because now that the guards are gone, the Queen will be coming out. And then the Merfolk Queen which is a boss-level monster, comes out of the palace. When Queen of the Mer people comes out, Ning Yi hide behind Lin Moyu, so that this time, Queen of the Mer people shouldn't been able to enchanted Ning Yi Yi. She decided to not look at Queen of the Mer people. Ning Yi Yi cutely call Lin Moyu and told him to please go and destroy the Queen of the Mer people. Lin Moyu smiled to look at her cute behavior. Lin Moyu then used his slow curse AMD corpse explosion skill at the same time on Queen of the Mer people. Queen of the Mer people was burnt to death. System notifications comes that they have killed Merfolk. Queen and obtained two 000 experience points. They also obtained silver grade weapon Merfolk Queen's Grimoire and obtained another Merfolk tier. Suddenly Ning Yi Yi level up and reach level 20. Ning Yi Yi was very happy to leveled up. She asked Lin Moyu to quickly let's go another round and get the rest of the tiers, Lin Moyu said. Okay. Lin Moyu was thinking that when he first met Ning Yi Yi, she was level 19 and he was level 10, but after so long, she only just leveled up to level 20. So it looks like to Lin Moyu that Ning Yi Yi really doesn't like farming for levels. When both of them comes out of the dungeon, Ning Yi Yi told Jiang Tao Tao that they're done. Everyone were confused. Why both of them are out so fast? It hasn't even been 10 minutes, right? All the hunters thought that both of them couldn't even kill a single monster, so they comes out. But everyone were amazed, thinking how can Ning Yi waste the cooldown talisman like that? She should be responsible if she's that rich. Ning Yi Yi ignore all of them and use the cooldown talisman to immediately go into the dungeon. Jiang Tao Tao was very surprised that it have been only 10 minutes and Lin Moyu is done already. Miao Yu, that it looks like Lin Moyu is much more capable than they thought. When Lin Moyu and Ning Yi Yi geese inside the dungeon again, Ning Yi Yi set up a timer asking Lin Moyu to see if they can be faster this time round. Lin Moyu was surprised because now Ning Yi Yi is treating this like a game. When Lin Moyu killed Queen of the Mer people, Ning Yi Yi get more happy because this time they took 8 minutes 58 seconds, 30 seconds faster this time. Lin Moyu's work was done here, so he asked Ning Yi Yi to let's return. Ning Yi Yi was carrying the third merfolk tear in her hand. She said she really can't wait to see the looks on all the hunters' faces when they, they return. When Lin Moyu and Ning Yi Yi comes out of Dungeon Country, wise hunters make fun of them saying that he can bet that both Lin Moyu and Ning Yi Yi just ran away without even seeing a monster. Zheng Tao Tao asked Ning Yi Yi, how did it go? Did she get it all? Ning Yi Yi told Zheng Tao Tao to don't worries because they have all. Suddenly the dungeon on their back started disappearing. All the hunters were shocked. They said it's impossible why is the dungeon disappearing. But that dungeon really disappeared. A guy said, how is this possible? Unless three merfolk tears were taken, the dungeon shouldn't have disappeared. Other hunters said that didn't Jiang Tao Tao's party enter the dungeon three times just now? Ning Yi, give all the merfolk tear to Jiang Tao Tao. Lin Moyu said that since they're done here, it's time to go. But suddenly at hunter charge at Jiang Tao Tao's party, shouting that they can't let this team leave. The merfolk tears are with them and they must take it from Jiang Tao Tao's party. All the hunters surrounded. Lin Moyu, Ning, Yi Yi, Jiang, Tao Tao, Miao Yu, and Duan Gao asking them to hand over the tears. When other teams of the Shia Empire hear 
that Zhang Tao Tao's party has all of the merfolk tears, they all were stunned. It's hard to believe, but the dungeon has indeed disappeared. So decided that they can't let them snatch the tears away from Zhang Tao Tao. All the teams gathered to fight. Countrywise legendary Shiragami user Hunter targeted Lin Moyu as his enemy. That Hunter used his two huge Shiragami monster to block Zhang Tao Tao's. Zhang Tao Tao gets scared to see those monsters, but Lin Moyu uses Soul Blaze skill and attacked those monsters. When Soul Blaze hit those Shiragami monsters, they started burning. That countrywise legendary Shiragami Hunter was too shocked to Lin Moyu's power. 